Welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're going to discuss some MCQs that are previous year's MCQs of the topic, the United Nations Organization. So as we know, it's a very important topic and holds a good weightage in the SSC CGL exam. So in the previous video, we discussed about the organs functioning and everything about the United Nations. And in this video, we're going to cover the previous year MCQs of the same. So let's begin. The United Nations officially came into existence on. So as we know that the UNO Day is celebrated every year on 24th October. So that is the same with the existence that it was formed in 1945. Okay, so the correct answer is C. That is October 24th, 1945. Let's get on to the next question. When was the League of Nations formed? So, as we know, League of Nations was the predecessor of United Nations and was formed after World War I. Okay? Um, so, the official foundation of League of Nations was on 10th January 1920. So, correct option is C. That is 10 January 1920. Okay, let's get to the next one, which is the first Secretary General of the United Nations was. So the answer to this question is C. Tragway Lee. So he was that time Norwegian Foreign Minister and was elected as the first Secretary General of the United Nations. So yeah, is the correct answer. Next one. How many countries are the members of UN General Assembly? So the answer is B193. So there are 193 members in total um, that are the official members of UN General Assembly. And also two observer states are there that tend to be members but are currently observer states. So yeah, our correct answer is D. There is 193. Let's get to the next one. Which was the latest country to be admitted as a new member state of the UN? Okay, so here the correct answer is C, South Sudan. And it was all after the independence of Sudan, which was divided into two parts. And one was named Sudan and the other as South Sudan, which came to be the latest admitted member for UN in the year 2011. So... As we know, the correct answer is C, South Sudan. Okay, next one. The number of judges in the International Court of Justice is? Okay, so it's very simple. The correct option is C, that is 15. Okay, so all the judges are elected for a term of nine years by the United Nations General Assembly and Security Council. So let's get to the next one. The term United Nations was coined by, so as we know, it was coined by that time American um, president, Mr. Franklin D. Roosevelt. And uh, this term was first used by him in January 1942 when the UN um, declaration was issued. So yeah, our correct answer is A. Roosevelt. Next one. Permanent members of UN Security Council are, okay, so all the allies, that is USA, Russia, UK, and China, along with France, which was admitted later on, are the permanent members of the UN Security Council. Okay, so our correct answer is B, that is USA, Russia, UK, France, and China. Okay, the next one is... When did India join the United Nations? Okay, so India was among the founding members of the UN and it basically joined the United Nations after rectifying the UN Charter on October 30th, 1945. So the correct option is A, that is 1945. Okay, how many organs are there in UNO. So the main organs of the UN are the General Assembly, the Security Council, 
the Economic and Social Council, the Trusteeship Council, and the International Court of Justice along with UN Secretariat. So in total, the option A is correct. There is six. There are six organs in the UNO. But in case we are asked about the present organs of the UNO, we'll choose the option C. That is five as the correct answer because the Trusteeship Council was suspended from its operation on November 1, 1994. Okay, so in case we are asked about present organs, we'll mark C as the correct option. And the case that we are in currently now, we'll answer A as the correct answer. Okay, so next one. The non-permanent members of the Security Council are elected for. So we are basically required to tell the term period for which they serve. Okay. So the correct answer is two. Every non-permanent member is elected for a term period of two years. Okay. They serve for a tenure of two years. So the correct option is B, two years. And the next one is the headquarters of United Nations organization is located at. Yeah, so this is the most simple question uh, that we have faced till now. And the answer is New York City. And the exact location is at Manhattan Islands, New York City. So we'll mark B as the correct option. Next question. The Security Council of UN consists of. So we basically have to tell the structure that how many permanent and non-permanent members are there. If that is the case. Or if they are only permanent members, we'll have to number them. And if they are only non-permanent members, we have to number them. So the correct option is A. There is five permanent and ten non-permanent members are there in the Security Council. Yeah, so next one. The International Court of Justice sits in. So we basically have to tell the headquarters that where is ICJ's headquarters situated. So as we know that ICJ is the only organ of the UN which is situated or headquartered out of New York City. And the correct answer is Hague, Netherlands. Okay, it is situated in the city of Hague. So we'll choose B as the correct answer. Next one. The Secretary General of the UNO is appointed by the... So we have to tell the body which appoints the Secretary General of the United Nations. And the correct answer is A, General Assembly. So the General Assembly appoints the Secretary General on the recommendation of Security Council. But we'll choose General Assembly as it is the main uh, appointing body. So yeah, the correct option is A, General Assembly. So our last question is, Decisions of the Security Council on procedural matters shall be made by an affirmative votes of DASH members. So in this question, we are basically supposed to tell that how many members should be in favor of something so that that uh, is passed by the Security Council. Okay, the, so that the decisions goes in favor of that by the Security Council. So let me explain you. There are three fourths of votes, total votes, that are required to be affirmative for a decision to be issued, okay, as there are total 15 members in the Security Council, so 3 by 4 to 15 uh, tends to be 9, so a total of 9 affirmative votes should there be in favor of a decision to be taken. So this was the last one, stay connected, do like, share and subscribe to the channel and get all the latest updates with the bell icon, so don't forget to press it. And the most important, keep learning, as learning is always important. Thank you.